There hasn't been much of this in the European Union recently. Celebration, that is. Years of economic crisis have taken the gloss off six decades of political integration and expansion. At midnight, they claimed Croatia's joining of their club proved the Eurosceptics wrong. Look back just 20 years. This is an astonishing reversal. Then Croatia was embroiled in one of the most vicious, most brutal wars of the 20th century. Today, it's welcomed as a reformed, cleaned up 28th member of the club. Hours before the EU's borders expanded, lorries were still having to deal with the old paperwork. Now products will move more freely into and out of the rest of the EU's single market. Good news for this electrical cable maker, which does almost all its trading with the EU. Our export towards EU countries, it's going to be faster, uh, we're going to be able to move more quickly, it's going to be cheaper. Away from the official party, there isn't a great sense of celebration here. People are happy to be breaking from the past, breaking from the Balkans. And yet Croatia is stuck in a deep and painful recession. And most people are pretty apathetic about joining a bloc that has its own economic problems. So in the markets, you'll hear this a lot. It's just going to get worse, he told us. They're too developed compared to us. EU goods will come in, but it'll be hard for our goods to be competitive. And among the fish sellers, a belief that opening up Croatian waters to EU fishermen, as they must, will harm their own fish stocks. So concern, yes, but also they realize that their country has had to change to get into the EU, had to reform its legal system, its very democracy, and that, most agree, has made this a better place. Matthew Price, BBC News, Zagreb.